Hello everybody, it's Robert with BestSanDiegoPsychics.com. This read is for Sunday, the 16th of February, 2020, and we are still dealing with major arcana cards. Matter of fact, we had this one for Friday. Uh, the card is Time and Space. It's card number 20. It's in transition, it looks like that. And again, these major arcana, uh, they may not give you a lot of, of comfort in your experience outwardly. That is, that the day may feel emotionally kind of, eh, not, not real big, not real small, nothing really to highlight. Uh, or it may be just the opposite. It might actually be through the roof amazing and or um, eventful. Um, but usually with the major arcana, the items or, or the situation that happens is usually kind of a, mm, I don't feel like anything's happening. Well, it's all going on behind the scenes, and thank goodness, because if you had to experience all the energetic shift in your physical being, it would be exhausting. Um, so again, we're revisiting time and space. It's asking us to again look at our projections, look at the projection over the year, look at the projection for the next two years, the next three years, four years, five years, ten years, Look at how you're projecting your experience to manifest and um, be sure you're clear with that. Be sure those, those things that you're looking to manifest are what you truly desire. And if you don't truly desire it, um, then maybe let it go and, and backfill it with something that you really, really, truly desire. It's, um, this manifestation game is really about being clear with what it is you desire. Um, we all manifest accidentally a lot of things into our experience we don't want to work with um, and of course that's because we weren't paying attention to what we were doing and then of course we have to spend a lot of energy to undo what we created unintentionally so part of part of our uh, process of becoming enlightened is to intentionally manifest into our experience as rapidly as possible the outcome or the items or the uh, uh, situation we desire or something better and and to be able to do that with consistency i think a lot of us do it accidentally uh, very frequently but with um, manifestation manifestation as a uh, a way of experiencing your life to the greatest um, a lot of us are not really clear on being able to um, basically put the idea of what it is we want to create into our experience into the function box and have it come out on the other side as in our experience now or something better. Um, and so we're all in process with that. I've been playing with it for years and, and sometimes I'm right on the money. Sometimes I'm so off the mark I don't even know how I got there. Um, but it, again, we're, we're working with consistency and we're working with um, doing our very, very best to uh, intend into our life those things, those beliefs, those uh, situations that we desire most to be our happiest, to be our greatest joy, to be our greatest energy to give back to our environment, the people around us. So what we're being asked to do on Sunday is again to look into our mind's eye, really identify where we want to be within the end of the month, the end of the year, the end of two years, the end of three years, four years, five years, ten years, um, and really address this decade and this moment as something we have control over. A lot of people say you don't have any control over anything. That's true in a sense that the universe, God, he, she, it, is going to bring to you what you require, um, but you can help out God, he, she, it, whatever you believe in, by giving a direction on what will bring you the greatest joy. And that's what you're being asked to do on Sunday. Just sit with it for a little while. Maybe journal for a little while. It's always good to journal and let your thoughts kind of uh, flow freely and, and just project, break it down. What do I want in six months? No, oh, what do I want this month? What do I want next month? What do I want in six months? What do I want in a year? Um, from where you sit today, and that will give you a, a greater chance of having clarity and a greater chance of bringing what you do desire into your experience. Alrighty, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate you and your comments. 
If you'd like to book a read, I am having a sale. You can get a, a full read, typically about 90 minutes long and recorded for you for $100. That's a $50 savings over my regular $150 price. You can buy it now, use it at any time. You can buy it now, give it away as a gift certificate. It's up to you, I'll honor it. Um, Alrighty, thanks again for tuning in. Do something kind for somebody today. Talk to you soon. Bye con Dios. Adios, my friends.